Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a one month review of the JLo Beauty That JLo Glow Serum. I'm Jess, I love all things fitness, healthy lifestyle, and activewear. If you like those things too, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So I've been using that JLo Glow Serum now for a month and I wanted to give you my thoughts. I will link, I have an unboxing and first impressions of the serum. I will link that down below because in that I go more into depth about what the claims are on the specifically on the serum. My first impression though was that um, she says your skin is gonna like immediately tighten and brighten and I didn't really feel like it tightened on the spot. I couldn't, she's like in the video saying I can feel it tightening and I didn't feel that at all just in my personal experience but I did find that it brightened and I do think that it actually may have some sort of, like when you look at the formula, there may be some brightening agents in there that like, um, I don't know if there's like mica or something, I'm really not sure, but I do feel like it actually has like a little bit of a glow to it. But surprisingly, I was very skeptical. After using it for just a couple days, I actually was really, really happy. And weirdly, I would find that even like the next day so normally you're supposed to put it on morning and night and i tried to do that but sometimes i would forget at night and even the next day even if i hadn't applied it at night i seriously felt like my skin was radiant and i've never called my own personal skin radiant before um you know you might hear like when products say it makes a lit from within look i've always been kind of like what does that even mean but I really felt that in using this serum, I really felt like my skin was actually glowier, just like on a regular basis. Even like I would get in the shower, I would wash my face and I would not have nothing on my face, but I still felt like my skin was like very glowy. So I was personally so impressed. And one thing when I bought the serum, is I was really nervous about having the regular cream because I thought it would be too heavy. I mentioned in my other video that my skin has been a little bit more on the oily side lately, but now that we're like full on in winter, my skin is getting drier, especially from having the heat on or being in the car with the heat. So I actually found that I was getting kind of like flaky up here, which is um, kind of like where I tend to get flaky in the winter time. So I started using this Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty over top of the serum just because I felt like I needed something to lock in the serum um, just to make sure that it was fully hydrated. So I do feel like, like I've used this Ultra Repair Moisturizer forever and I never really saw it like doing anything for my skin other than like my skin would feel like kind of soft and kind of moisturized but between the two I really feel like my skin has been so glowy I don't know if like I feel like I can see like in the camera right now like how glowy it is so I was actually just so impressed with the serum that I decided to actually go ahead and buy the face cream and the eye cream. So we're here today to do a little first impressions. I have them here. When you open the box up, it says beauty has no expiration date. And then you've got your quote on the box. So this is the same as the one I did in my other video. To be youthful and timeless at every age, you deserve skincare that works as hard as you do. Love JLo. So here it is. So awesome. I'm so excited. We have them here. I got the JLo That Blockbuster in a non-stop wonder cream. And it says plump, hydrate, nourish. Um, it has the olive complex that she uses for her whole li entire line. Um, it also has hyaluronic acid, yeast-derived ferment, which is known for its antioxidant smoothing properties, potent peptides, and it is free from parabens, phthalates, mineral oil, and dyes. Um, so it says to use this AM and PM as well. I also got the that fresh take in a fierce eye cream. <laughs> Hydrate, brighten, and smooth with peptides, blurring complex, sugar-derived matrix, 
brings surface tightening and lifting you can feel immediately. So that claim again that you'll be able to feel it immediately. Um, in the video for the eye cream, she was like actually using it as a spot treatment on fine lines in other areas of her face. So that really drew me to that because I mentioned in my other video, um, I do have like a forehead line developing. So the more that I can combat that, the better. All right, so let's dig in. It's just so gorgeous. Like the serum, I remember when I first opened this, I was just like blown away. All right, so peeling it back. Wow. That is amazing. Oh my God, it's incredible. Um, I did do the subscribe and save so that I'll be getting these every three months. I hope that works out. Oh my God, it's just so stunning. I can't get over it. All right, opening it up. Oh, and it has like this little stopper. Wow, see, it is very thick. She says, in the video that it's like super weightless and it's not heavy so that's why I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a try especially with my winter skin um, okay so I'm I'm like touching the cream and it's very thick it's bouncy it's like bouncy to the touch it does feel thick though Personally, I prefer a pump for these kind of things because I don't like to dig my hands into my cream. And they say when skin cream is exposed to the air, it loses some of its properties. So it's kind of too bad. Um, like the First Aid Beauty one comes in a little pump and it's obviously a little thicker. So maybe because the formula is so thick on this, they had to do a jar. Um, but that would just be my thought is I wish it was in like a little pump thing. Okay, so now, all right. So the lid locks back on very securely. And the box for the eye cream says megawatt brightness inside. Here we have the eye cream. It's basically like a mini of the regular cream same design it also has a little stopper a lot of the cream got stuck to my little stopper oh gosh i feel like i'm gonna lose product this way okay so it feels nice It does say that it firms right on the spot. So, I mean, it's hard to tell because I've already used so many steps. Actually, I wanted to mention that the thing I noticed the most, I didn't really notice my forehead wrinkle subsiding yet. Um, and maybe, I don't wanna say it's too late, but you know, you can only get so far with that. But I do feel like my eye area has looked a lot more hydrated i've had way less like possible fine lines i feel like my concealer has sat a lot more nicely on the side there so my eye area is what i noticed the biggest difference in from using the serum now i basically have the set i'm gonna keep on using these and do another update now that i'm able to layer the serum with the actual cream from jlo beauty and see with the eye cream if that makes a difference as well i'm really excited to have them all um actually i just noticed neither product had a scent 
So that's what I'm loving a lot about her line is it's unscented. You might just get a little bit of the olive oil scent, but I barely smell anything. So it's really nice because I cannot stand like, like the Olay Regenerist is, the scent is so strong that I just can't even use it. They actually came out with an unscented because probably so many people complained. Um, if you watch skincare with Hiram, he always says that skincare should not have a scent because scents can be really irritating to the skin. So I really love that she didn't decide to go with like, you know, like luxury brands sometimes add like a really perfumey scent, but she didn't do that. And I really appreciate that. So I'm definitely going to keep on using the products. I'm really excited to see now that I'm adding to my skincare regimen. I've already seen a really big difference. Um, and maybe that's just from focusing more. I hadn't been taking great care of my skin. Like, I mean, I was like washing my face and putting on moisturizer. Um, but now it's really become a focus and I really am seeing benefits. So I will let you know in another month how I'm liking the rest of the line and if I'm seeing any difference in my skin. So I hope you enjoyed this review of JLo Beauty. Um, and I will see you in the next video soon. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the follow-up. Have a great day. Stay positive. Bye.